All right, so I am going to try out. This is Sugar Plum. It is a luminous eyeshadow from Merle Norman. This is the full size eyeshadow. And this is a loved color. So it's basically purple uh, with some luminosity to it. And I'm going to try it out. I don't think I've ever used this one. So I don't know what I'm getting into. So I'm just gonna go in here. It is a bit flaky. So watch out for the flakes. <sighs> yeah, it took a lot. You know, some people don't like that stuff, but I don't care. The eyeshadow is good. It's gonna be good. Ooh. Right away, it's very pigmented. Very. I normally would reserve this or fall. This is a good fall color. So I'm not sure. I just wanted to try it out. You know, I won't be able to wear the colors that I normally wear um, because it's purple. But it's definitely an evening, evening look even though I'm just going to work for the day. It's very, very pretty. Very nice. I'm gonna take some off so I can blend it. Lately, I've just been doing these one and done looks. So, kind of you could definitely smoke this out if you wanted to. It'd be a really, really pretty look for that. So my one and done is basically just put one eyeshadow on and then just blend it lightly up all the way to the top of the brow bone as if I put another eyeshadow there. Um, so yeah. And then just in the inner. So you can see that sheen, that's the luminous. There we go. Mm, that's so pretty. That is Sugar Plum. And that's what it looks like. And like I said, it has a, a luminous or a frost finish to it. Which captures the light. That's what you're seeing. That luminous frost. And it is gorgeous. I'm so glad. I don't know why people return our eyeshadows sometimes. Because it's... I mean, this is without primer. So, it may crease a little bit during the day, but honestly, I don't care. Our eyeshadows are really good. They don't really crease horribly like some other eyeshadow brands that I've had before. So yeah, I am really, really happy with this. I'm going to pair it with my blush. I have to get the right blush here. I'm going to pair it with um, my Warm Exploration Cheek Trio. This is in the color Escape. Escape. And I have been using, been going back. Um, so my skin is really sensitive to brushes, very sensitive. So I'm going back to our Moral Norman um, Powder Puffs. And I just get a little bit And this has worked for me way better than the brushes. Oops. 
that normally doesn't happen. It only happens when I, things only happen when I film. It's weird, but that never happens. It has never happened. That goes with that one. I really love this easy to do. Sorry, I had to adjust. Had to adjust. I also have this one. This was another eyeshadow. This was really, really good. Um, hmm. Oops. I thought I had it here. Here it is. Double ended liner. So one end is called Claret and the other end is called Periwinkle. Now I did use this one yesterday. It's just kind of like a brown. I will swatch it for you. So here it is. It's like a, it's kind of like a plummy brown, if you will. And then Periwinkle going to be like a, a blue, like an indigo, an indigo blue. So, and these you do have to sharpen. These are, um, this was a, a limited edition uh, color duo stick. And, but we do sell these. These are our soft touch eye pencil duo. So you do have to sharpen these. And I'm not sure if I'm going to line my eyes with one of them. I think I will align it with Claret. That's the, the brownish color. And I have to get my tools. This is my Merle Norman. Everything's Merle Norman, you guys, like honestly. <laughs> I love this brand. It, I've never been devoted to a brand so hard except for Merle Norman. Just almost just about everything that they sell is amazing. Like I just really, really love the brand. It's so good. I'm going to try to do this. Now, I have not gotten good at lining my eyes. I used to line them a lot more, but I have not done this in a while. So right away, this um, crayon is a little, it's a little tuggy, which I'm not really happy about it, but um, it needs to be kind of warmed up a little bit. So, you know, the old trick that they would do back in the, in the days, they would put a lighter to it, you know, to, to kind of get it more, to melt the wax, the waxes that are in here. That's, it's a little hard. I would like it a little bit smoother but it works for the most part I think it would be great to tight line with because it's so thick and waxy because you know our inner uh, inner eyes are very wet <laughs> and um, it kind of you can't you know get a good line when your eyeballs are wet but they're always wet so but yeah, if you had older eyelids, you know, eyelids that have a little bit more wrinkles, um, this would not be the one for you guys. Uh, we have another one, which is an automatic, you don't have to sharpen it. And that one is our Age Defy Eyeliner. And that one is a little bit more forgiving um, because they take in consideration the eyelids and aging and wrinkles there. So this one tugs a little bit. So this one is not for, I guess, uh, aging eyes, but um, the other one is actually 
better for you guys. Um, I do have a eyeliner. This is, okay, so this is what the soft touches actually look like. So it has a, all of them have an applicator at the end, which is a smudger. And then I believe, no, it doesn't. I thought it had a sharpener. And then you have to sharpen it. So that is what these are. These are the same. It's just this one was a special because it had two colors and this one, they only usually come like this. So anyway, so yeah, that is the eye look of the day. And normally I would probably smudge it, I should smudge this out, like blend it a little bit more. Because like I said, it's a little bit patchy, but that's okay. All right, I am ready to go to work, you guys. So ready. I need my lips. Once I get my lips on, then I'll be ready to go. But anyway, that is the eyeshadow in Sugar Plum. So yeah, I'll see you in my next video.